OneNote is a digital notebook that allows me to easily gather and manage my information so that I can organize it, quickly find it, and share it with others. OneNote replaces all of the sticky notes, scribbles, and paper notebooks that are scattered throughout my life. In my job, I use it to collect notes, brainstorm ideas, take meeting minutes, and do research on the web. Let me show you how. For example, colleagues and I like to brainstorm over the phone, and I take notes on our conversations in OneNote using my desktop PC. I just click on a page wherever I want and start typing. Sometimes when I see that my notes are taking the form of a list, I add bullets and then customize them by selecting them and choosing from a wide array of bullet styles. Other times, OneNote does the formatting for me automatically. Like when I press the tab key between information I want to appear in columns and the enter key between the rows. See? OneNote arranges the information in a table for me. That's a cool feature that I love. I also use OneNote to gather information from different sources. For instance, I can go to the Insert menu and click Files as Printouts to place a full-color, searchable file right in OneNote. I often pull quotes from our journal, and it's handy to have the content at my fingertips. And I can insert a file without displaying the content and display its icon instead, which is useful when I'm trying to keep my project files and notes in one place. I can even record media files right in OneNote. Here I've recorded a conference call to augment a report. When I'm researching a subject on the web, I use OneNote's handy side note window, which stays on top of my web browser, to drag information, images, and even screen clippings from the web directly into OneNote. That's a quick overview of how I use OneNote. Now I'll explain the parts of the notebook which no traditional notebook can offer. Items in OneNote are stored on pages. Unlike with paper notebooks, pages in OneNote can be as long or as short as I want them to be. And I can create as many pages as I want. I use sections to organize pages by subject inside a notebook. Sections are represented by familiar-looking tabs at the top of the page, which give me quick access to all my notes. Random notes and collected information appear in a special section called Unfiled Notes, where OneNote lets me keep them until I've decided where they belong in my notebook. I've created a separate notebook for the evening classes I'm taking. I have created a section for each class where I type my lecture notes. Unlike with a paper notebook, I'm never stuck with what I initially set up in OneNote. I can rename sections, rearrange pages, and reorganize information in any way I want, to my heart's content. I don't need to remember where I put things because I can always use the search feature here to find them again. See? OneNote found the term Contoso here in this text, and on this page in this audio file, and here in this picture. To make finding notes more efficient, I can use tags to categorize the notes I store. For example, I like to add an important tag to notes I want to be sure not to overlook. Once I've gotten information into OneNote, I can use that information in other Office programs. For example, I can create Microsoft Office Outlook tasks directly in my notes. If I need to share information with others who don't use OneNote, I can send one or more pages in an email message or post notes to the web. I can also use OneNote to collaborate with others by creating a shared notebook. When I share a notebook with my team members, they can each make their contributions to the notebook at their convenience and from their own location. OneNote continually shows every participant the latest version of a shared set of notes so everyone is literally on the same page. I've shown you how I like to use OneNote. Now it's your turn. Give it a try and see how flexible it is. If you need to store, organize, search, 
and share different types of information to keep your life running smoothly, OneNote is for you.